everybody and welcome back to Bad Luck Garage. So the Nova is currently across town uh, having the rear end done. So what I've decided to do, uh, a lot of you guys have been on me about the Camaro. So we're actually going to raise right now to bring the Camaro home. So maybe I can uh, get it cleaned up and start prepping it for some fun. Okay guys, so the Camaro currently is, uh, it's actually sitting over in one of Ray's, like, what would you call it, outside, like, barn type base. Yeah. Yeah, so what I decided I wanted to do, uh, it's Saturday right now. We're not going to be able to get the Nova back until Monday afternoon. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and get the Camaro, uh, maybe go buy a car wash, get it scrubbed down, cleaned up, because it's it's got a lot of just nasty stuff all over the outside of it. And uh, go, go ahead and get it in the garage and, and maybe start evaluating, getting some stuff done to it. And since I haven't done a video in a while, um, I mean, I generally don't do like these vlog style videos, but I thought I would kind of take you guys along and uh, yeah, just take you along for the ride, kind of let you know what's coming up, what I'm getting done to the car and uh, just follow along guys. That's, that's the bottom line. I'm just taking you guys along. We're gonna go get the car. We're gonna take it, clean it up. I'm gonna bring it back to the house. I actually have a few goodies, so we might go ahead and look at getting those installed today and tomorrow. All right, so while we're driving over there, I uh, figure we go ahead and go over a few things. Last night on, on the uh, Bad Luck Garage Instagram and on the Bad Luck Garage Facebook page, I made a post. So what I did is uh, I went out and I bought some new tires for the back of the China vet here. And there's a reason for that, guys. I already have the drag radials, you know, that we were using to, to try to get into the sixes. But the issue is, to be honest, I'm 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 getting kind of tired of just doing the test and tune thing all the time. And I would really like to enter some competitions. Now, that's kind of what I'm going to be building the Camaro for is maybe like small tire events, uh, no prep, things like that. Uh, the problem is it's going to be a long time before that Camaro is ready to compete or, you know, do anything serious. And the China Vet, it, you know, it's a fast street car. It's it's fun. Uh, but, I, I mean, let's face reality, guys. This thing would not have a prayer in hell of competing in any kind of small tire, no prep event. It just wouldn't. Uh, you know, a lot of those guys are, they're running like, you know, fives. They're, you know, they're in the five second. Uh, all the way, you know, all the way up to like, you know, low six second range. In its current state, this thing just, it doesn't have a chance. So what's going on is the owners at English Mountain have actually started this uh, uh, hard tire street car class. And, you know, the only requirements, it has to be a real street car, guys. I mean, you know, you've got to have all the factory seats, everything in it. Um, you know, AC, or I, I don't, I think there's, there might be some laps in the rules about the AC if you've got a car that didn't come with AC or whatever. Uh, but you, you definitely have to be on a hard tire. Uh, the softest tire you're allowed to run is a 200 tread wear, which is, uh, you know, pretty much the softest actual street tire you can get before going to a drag radio. So that's why I bought the, uh, the uh, Nitto NTO fives that I posted on Facebook and Instagram last night. We want to get the, those put on here. They're actually going to be our daily driver tires, and I'm hoping they're going to be sticky enough to compete in the uh, in the uh, hard tire class. So instead of you guys just seeing me periodically going up to English Mountain and you know just doing test and tune and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully real soon you're gonna see me get to actually compete in some races so yeah that'll be cool <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just see uh, see what we can get get away with and on the flip side of that I was thinking you know what would be even cooler is if we ended up actually finally hitting those sixes that we were aiming for uh, on a street tire instead of on a drag radial because that would actually make the whole you know, tens for fifteen hundred dollars thing. I don't know, guys. I just I think it would make it more realistic because I know a couple of you guys were like, "Well, you didn't you didn't figure in the price of the drag radials." And my excuse for that was, "You're gonna have to buy fucking tires anyway." I mean, I've said this a hundred times. So I didn't, you know, I didn't add wear items into the fifteen hundred dollar budget. 
you know, I didn't add nitrous refills. I didn't add oil, transmission fluid, and I didn't add tires because it's a wear item that, you know, you're just going to have to buy. I mean, that really shouldn't even be considered part of it. But my point is, if, if I end up hitting the sixes on street tires that you drive on every day, then that just, you know, that's going to help because it's going to take that whole argument out of the equation anyway because it's like, okay, well, you didn't even have to fucking buy drag radials. You just had to have a good set of tires on your car. But that's really just a side effect, guys. The, the main reason I bought the tires uh, was, in fact, to compete in hard tire. Uh, the tires that are on the car, they are, shit, what are they? I think they're BFG... Uh, uh, I told you what they are, but I can't remember. They're like the the TA or Comp TA G2s or something like that. And I mean, they're they're a good all around performance tire, but they're not very sticky. They're like a I think like a somewhere between a 300 and 400 tread uh, tread rating, uh, A traction rating. The NTO fives are a double A traction rating, and uh, 200 tread wear. So they're they're gonna be quite a bit stickier, you know. Like you guys have seen me in this car, I can I can pat the gas and the ass end comes around like that. I mean, these tires do not stick very well, so <laughs> that's why I bought the NTO fives. As for the Camaro, once we get it home, like I said earlier, I've already started buying parts for it, guys. And uh, for those of you who who may have not seen the first video on. Chaos Theory Camaro. We're going to be playing around with it a lot before we actually do the LS swap and the uh, the turbo build on it. So <laughs> we're going to be putting nitrous on the stock V6 that's in it first, and you know, like I said, just kind of playing around, seeing how much that stock V6 will take, and it's more for more for entertainment value while I'm saving up money, uh, you know, for the LS swap and for the turbo parts than anything, but. Hell, I don't know, guys. 90% of this channel is, you know, me trying to show you guys how to do things and uh, how to put things together, how to take things apart. And I thought it might be cool kind of for a change to maybe do some stuff that's more focused on entertainment um, while we're saving up money for uh, for more of the uh, how-to type stuff. Uh, Ray, I was just saying on video on the way here, that I was gonna take that car to the car wash and wash it. <laughs> and I pull up and you're spraying it off. <laughs> Shit fire, man. Well, I guess I don't have to wash it. No. All right, guys. Well, we got the Camaro. We're gonna try to get it home. If you guys remember from the last video though, the fuel gauge does not work in this thing. It just stays maxed out at full. So I have no idea how much gas is in it. I'm just hoping that it's got at least enough gas that I can get to the gas station at the end of the road and uh, put like 10 bucks in it and get it home. Uh, the problem with this car is it does have a head gasket leak. So what goes on is when you first start it, when it's cold, it, it runs fine. Like right now, it's running great. But the longer you drive it, the shittier it runs. So, yeah. I, honestly, I probably should have just trailered it home because we do want to play with it at the drag strip before it really gives up and shit. But, uh, I don't know, guys. We'll see. Hopefully, it'll make it home fine. And I probably won't start it again after that until I get the, the mini spool in it and the nitrous on it. And at that point, we will trailer it to the drag strip and uh, and have our fun with it. Tracy's behind me in the Corvette back there. <laughs> That's right, you, you stay behind this Camaro and that Corvette, woman. I got no freaking tags on this thing. The tags are like a year out of date or something. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, this... This 3.1 V6 is a beast, guys, I'm telling you. She's a beast. That drives good, though. I almost hate to uh, do what I'm going to do to it. <laughs> Something else, it's actually got a really nice uh, Sony radio in it. 
that has like the USB input and all that shit. And uh, the Corvette back there still got the factory radio that just plays CDs. So what I might actually do, because I, I don't need a radio in a fucking race car. So what I'm probably going to do is take the radio out of this and put it in the Corvette back there. And uh, I'll probably just put a switch panel where the radio goes in here. So it's running kind of herky jerky, guys. I'm hoping it's not running out of gas. <laughs> oh, please don't be running out of gas. Let me make it to a freaking gas station, please. Come on. We'll call it CT. <laughs> Chaos theory. Oh, come on, go, go, go. Well, it's a Chaos Camaro, guys, so maybe we'll just call her CC for short. <laughs> come on, CC. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be the most pitiful eighth mile drag strip run ever when we take this thing to the track. It's, it's not going to be pretty. Well, the good news is we made it to the gas station. The bad news is uh, Tracy back there in the Corvette said this thing's smoking pretty good. So, I don't know. We got about a 10-minute drive home. So, the next time you hear from me will either be once I have this thing in the garage or once I'm on the side of the road trying to figure out how I'm going to get it the rest of the way home. <laughs> I think it's safe to say we probably do have a head gasket issue uh, the oil pressure was actually really good when I first started uh, it, like it was almost pegging out at 80 and we're down now <laughs> the oil pressure is almost in the red zone uh, Wow yeah the oil pressure is really down there guys and the temperature I'm sitting at about 215 right now which isn't a huge deal but it definitely should not be that high so that's probably got something to do with the with the uh the leaking head gasket and tracy just called me from behind me and she's like i can smell you <laughs> she's like i don't know what you're burning but i can smell it so it's probably coolant is what she's smelling it's probably burning coolant and uh and I can see that I'm smoking pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera out the back glass, but I'm putting a cloud out. <laughs> She's bright lighting me back there, probably trying to tell me that I'm smoking like a freight train, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we don't care about this engine, so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm only about two or three miles from the house now, so yep. Fuck it. All right, guys, full throttle. just to get up to 40 miles an hour oh this thing's a slug guys this thing is so slow oh my god oh you are so slow cc you're so slow cc come on girl oh shit is the transmission slipping come on cc we just got another mile to go baby <laughs> Oh man, I tell you what guys, this car looks really good and it drives really good, but yeah, the drivetrain is, it's fucking shot. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but there's something rattling. I'm sitting at 230 degrees and the oil pressure is in the red zone. So, <laughs> but we are home. I'm pulling it in the garage and yep. I think I'm good. <laughs> oh, that does not sound good. I don't know what it smells like behind the car, but in the car, my fucking eyes are burning. <laughs> yeah, it smells like shit. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, it's a. Uh, oh yeah, it's uh, uh, I pull, I pulled in, 
and I was sitting at 230 degrees and the oil pressure was almost bottomed out. Oh. Yeah, this engine ain't gonna ain't gonna last too long, so we're gonna have to whatever fun we're gonna have with this thing at the drag strip, we're gonna have to do it uh pretty soon and not drive it anymore until we decide to have our fun. Because uh Oh, it smells bad. Yeah, it smells real bad. Like something was burning my eyes mm -hmm. about halfway here. I, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know if it's antifreeze burning or Probably oil. A mixture. Yeah. Probably a mixture. Yeah, it, it smells it smells pretty bad, but <laughs> we got it home guys. Uh yeah, that was uh that that was the point. So it's here now so I can tinker with it. There's a lot of heat coming out of this engine bay right now. Now guys, I just wanted to pop the hood because there was like you could feel the heat and it almost smells like something's burning. So, you know, I just wanted to make sure that this thing wasn't going to catch fire out here. <laughs> but it's uh yeah, it's she's warm. She's real warm. There's that 3.1 V6 in all its glory. But, like I said, she's home. Everybody kept saying, hey, when are you going to start on the Camaro? When are you going to start on the Camaro? Well, she's home now, so we'll take it from there. It does drive good. Something right. Yeah. It's something right everywhere. Like, I think what it is is I think the head gasket where it's leaking, I think it's burning oil and coolant while I'm driving. That's where the smoke's coming from and, and probably the smell that we're smelling. And, uh... I think the catalytic converter stopped up on it too, so. <laughs> yeah, you got a headache. Yeah, you should you should try being in it. I mean, it stinks. We're gonna have to leave the garage door open and let it air out a little bit in here. Yeah, we got a lot to think about here because, I mean, we're a ways off on the on the whole turbo thing, but to be honest, I I think I'd really like to run air to water. On this setup instead of an air to air since it's it's going to be a mainly a track car there's all kinds of room like you just said i mean there's all kinds of room down here because we're going to be doing away with the hood latch and going to hood pins so that's going to open up this whole area here for a heat exchanger and uh and the air to water intercooler yeah she's pretty she's real pretty it's a rs but somebody already put the uh z28 grill in it down there so that's cool so we got the nitrous kit to put on it now i've actually guys this this car runs off speed density uh it does not have a mass airflow sensor so technically i can eliminate uh and i no, i'm not trying to beef up a v6 but i'm just saying i got a whole box over there of filters and intake tubes and i mean well <laughs> you can see that whole box right there is just full of stuff that I use to build intakes and, you know, cold side piping for turbo. Uh, so what I may do, because I don't know what kind of shape this air filter's in right here, but what I may do is go ahead and just take this whole intake system off of it and just put me a little tube up here uh, because I do need to plumb the nitrous nozzle in. So I might just run me a little uh, short piece of uh, tube right here and stick a little cone filter that I've got laying around on it. And that way we can just plumb a nitrous nozzle in, like right in here somewhere. I'm telling you guys, this engine ain't gonna last long, but before we take it to the drag strip, the only two things really that I wanna do is I want to plumb the nitrous system and it's gonna be a temporary install, so it won't take me long. I'll probably do that on video. And then we have a mini spool that I'm gonna put in the rear end to lock the back wheels together and completely unnecessary <laughs> with this engine. But if this engine survives a small shot of nitrous, we may jet it way the fuck up and hit it right out of the hole. And at that point, we might actually need both wheels pulling. So yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's the plan guys. And uh, to be honest, I will probably, that'll probably be the next video. I may actually do the mini spool tomorrow. And uh, so that video will probably be up Monday. But uh, I believe, didn't Ray say he was coming over tomorrow? I think Ray's actually coming over tomorrow. So yeah, we'll go ahead and put the mini spool in tomorrow. We'll do a little video on that. 
just in case some of you might not understand what a mini spool is or how to put it in it's actually pretty easy uh <laughs> not really a good thing to run on the street but this isn't going to be a street car so not really worried about that but stay tuned for that video once again thank you guys for watching now i'm going to check this thing out make sure it's not going to catch on fire and you need to get out in the garage get something done and i'll see you next time here on bad luck garage tell you what if this thing don't burn down tonight uh i'll feel really really lucky